The Isaiah Factor Uncensored starts right now. And welcome and thank you for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored tonight. Two surgeons are refuting a national warning issued this year. The American Academy of Ophthalmology issued a warning on the dangers of eye color changing procedures. However, some experts in the field say that the national organization is getting the public worried for no reason by saying you're putting yourself at risk with the procedure that has been blowing people's minds on social media. And joining us on the Factor Uncensored today, we have with us Dr. Alexander Mosevich and Dr. Brian Boxer Wachler. Glad to have you both here on the Factor Uncensored. I saw an interesting video last week on social media where this guy had surgery and the colors of his eyes actually changed. We're not talking about contact lenses, but we are talking about a procedure that he had to change the color of his eyes. Now, an ophthalmology group, uh, uh, professional industry group has come out saying that this could be dangerous to people, but you guys uh, uh, say different. Dr. Walkler, let's begin with you. When you see someone's eye color change like this through surgery, and then you have uh, a group of ophthalmologists saying that this is dangerous, you say what to that? Well, I have to say that the American Academy of Ophthalmology, which I've been a member of and received awards from over many years, over 20 years, uh, came out with this warning, which uh, I was really just flabbergasted because it is not founded on what has been published in the medical literature about the eye color change procedure. And so um, Alexander, Dr. Moshevich, who's here as well, and two other colleagues who are very esteemed um, in the world for their work in eye surgery as eye surgeons, um, we wrote a letter to the American Academy of Ophthalmology pointing out the shortcomings. And uh, we were actually very surprised. They didn't even respond to us. Mm -hmm. So it's our job to correct this misinformation. Dr. Yeah. Moshevich, uh, let's hear from you your thoughts about uh, the um, association coming out with this warning for the public and your feelings about it. Yeah, my feeling is pretty direct. I have to say that we already doing it for five years and I did more than 1100,000 ca uh, cases and uh, the cases are not having any significant issues. More than that, I'm in contact with the uh, father of, of this uh, method, Dr. Alio from Spain, and we have uh, opened a new uh, International Character Pigmentation Society, which is oriented really scientifically, and there is no uh, science from in a peer-reviewed journals or any other literature showing that any danger of this specific procedure. People mix up it with other things like intractable implants and laser depigmentation, which is really dangerous, especially implants. So keratin pigmentation, to say it in one phrase, is not dangerous. Usually it's a small, um, you know, like uh, irritation or maybe sense light sensitivity, but not more than that. And you haven't and seen out of all of those cases that you've done over the last five years, you haven't seen any um, severe problems as a result of the procedure. I never saw any severe problems, but as you know, every people, every person is more or less sensitive. So yeah. when we're saying it's 24 to 72 hours, it's a two standard deviation from the mean. But at the same time, the skew may be almost no reaction, or it may be like bigger reaction, take like a week. But also it's a dose dependent. If people want really very high intensity, they may be more sensitive because it's dose dependent to some degree, but there is no serious complications over these five years. And Isaiah, I just want to dovetail on that. So the procedure that we're talking about is called keratopigmentation, which is involving placing a specialized ink made for the cornea in the cornea in a channel that is made very precisely by a laser. And what this American Academy of Ophthalmology warning has done is kind of confused people by lumping it in with an iris colored implant, mm -hmm. which is a surgical device Two being implanted things. in the eye. Two different things completely. The iris implants 100% have serious complications, including needing cornea transplants. We don't do it. It's not even available in the United States. 
And keratopigmentation, on the other hand, as Dr. Moshevich was explaining, and we've done many cases too, and I'm a cornea surgeon, mm -hmm. and if I'm comfortable with the literature that's been published over the last 15 years about this procedure, because it's very safe, there have been no reported infections either in the United States or internationally, um, nobody's like had cornea damage or needing a cornea transplant. Um, there was one case of a patient uh, that had previous LASIK and had this procedure and then they developed some problems. So mm -hmm. right now, most of us don't wanna do this procedure on someone who's had previous LASIK, but in a good candidate without that previous procedure, like we've seen nobody like lose their vision. It's just been incredibly safe. And of course the patient satisfaction is just off the scale. You know, people are so happy. I mean, Alex, you see people, right, as well. Like they get up, they're looking in the mirror. A lot of times they're crying because they finally get the eyes that they've wanted to have their whole life. I mean, we're changing people's lives, but most importantly, it's in a very safe way. And the American Academy of Ophthalmology needs to retract their warning because they're instilling undue fear in the public that is not based on science and is not based on the literature. And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. We continue our conversation with two highly regarded eye surgeons on why they're refuting the warnings of a professional organization against eye color changing procedures. Do you guys think this is a possibility of the American Academy responding to social media and those who may say it looks like it could be dangerous without knowing the facts? Because the, the change is so jarring when you see it. You know, it's kind of like you go from brown eyes to green or blue eyes or, or what have you. But do you think they could be reacting to uh, the public rather than the science? Alex, why don't you answer that? That's a good question. Yeah, I'd like to answer this. Uh, in majority of cases, people do not dig deep. Like really, they take superficially, like TV envelope kind of thing, and they start to cite one another without even knowing what they're citing. Unfortunately, you know, as much as we respect American Academy of Ophthalmology, this warning was even, not even signed. We don't know who wrote it, actually. And unfortunately, it was written, for instance, that the pigment can leak inside of the eye, which is absolutely impossible because the channel is inside of the cornea. There is no connection to the inside of the eye. And that's the biggest, biggest advantage of this procedure in terms of safety. More than that, I have to say that the precision of the current lasers allows you really to you know modify parameters according to specific person to specific need to specific pachymetry which is thickness of the cornea and really makes it safe now have you guys received any calls from any potential patients who may be in line to get this and now they're concerned because it could affect your 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 your, your business your bottom line that's a good we question, Isaiah. Yeah. And, you know, from our point of view, like when we put ourselves with these two other doctors, the four of us wrote a letter, very detailed, very, you know, science based on what is published in literature about the safety. We wanted to make sure that the American Academy of Ophthalmology, and I used to be on many committees with this uh, academy many years ago, you know, would put out accurate information to the public, right? They're, they're charged with putting out accurate information people can rely on. So from our point of view, we were more concerned about getting correct information out there and not inducing undue fear because the worst thing that you can happen is an organization that's powerful that is for whatever reason not doing their due diligence and whether it's on by design, I'm gonna assume it's not on purpose, but are effectively misleading the public. Yeah. Also, I have to add that we reported uh, at the time what was 500 cases in uh, Association of uh, Cataract and Refractive Surgeons, which is very, uh, you know, honorable place to, to be. And uh, that was like uh, really uh, was received very well. The questions was well in target. Also, we did the same thing on the first uh, International Congress on Keratopigmentation. And there was multiple people who was attending that. And I'm sure that will be multiplied by one tenth at least uh, on the next, uh, next Congress in Dubai. Right. Very big interest. And it's a lot of scientific data. There is nothing really happens which would damage your eye.
All right, doctors, we want to thank you for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored, and we appreciate your time tonight.